Hello and welcome to top 10 features of ADS 2023. In this video series, we are talking about all the latest enhancements in ADS. In this video, we will focus on service enhancements in ADS. There is a long list of all the great enhancements which are now available for the service designers who are performing a link level simulation for various service standards. I will not have time to go over each of these enhancements, but I you know, invite you to explore all these enhancements at your own convenience in your own environment in your own designs in this video i am going to focus on the ami modeling capability which is now available for ethernet pcie gen 5 gen 6 as well as usb 3 and 4 pretty cool capability which gives a peace of mind to all the designers who are struggling to get a proper ami model now you can create your own AMI models with great ease while you wait your vendors to give you a more appropriate model specific to their devices. Now along with this AMI modeling capability, you also have reference channels now available for PCIe Gen 5, Gen 6 and USB. Using these reference models, you can quickly validate the AMI models which either you have generated or provided to you by vendor to look at the overall link analysis and then use these channel models to compare it with your own version of designs and see how well you have designed your own channels with respect to the standard compliant channels. So pretty cool capability. Stay tuned till the end of this video. I hope you will find the contents very, very interesting. Now to start with, I have this example uh, which I have opened. And if you want to get access to this example, feel free to contact your local Keysight support person who would be able to share this workspace with you so that you can give it a try. In the first example, you can see I have a general uh, transmitter and receiver which are available in our channel simulator uh, library palette. And it is configured to be working on PCI Gen 5 with 32 Gbps data rate. In between, you can see I am using a reference channel model which are now available under this library palette of Sardis reference channel. Here you have Gen 5. Gen 6 for the PCIe and USB as a separate icon. So when you want to start using those reference models, simply place a block on your schematic, double click on it and now you can choose what type of channel you are looking at. Once you pick any specific model type, you can also look at various specification or the insertion loss of those channels as suiting to your own specific design. Once you change uh, the option here, you can see the GUI changes and also the specification of the channel model changes here. So it gives you a pretty quick access to all the kind different kind of channels and their own you know, version of insertion loss so that you can quickly hook up the channel as you need. Now using these reference channel models, you can see I have built up this end-to-end -end design. And if I run this analysis with a normal differential transmitter and receiver, I can look at the overall link result where you can see the eye getting close at the receiver input and after performing CTLE and DV equalization, the eye is open and also you can see the BER part of contours. Now, once you do uh, cross this particular stage, now you look to replace these behavioral TX and RX models with some standard compliant um, you know, AMI models. So how do you go about it? Well, in ADS, if you have now this utility enabled, which you can do it simply by right clicking and switching on the HSD toolbar, you can notice the three icons. The first one is PCIe, AMI model builder, the second is USB, and the third is Ethernet. So here, let me take an example of PCIe. So you can either create your own AMI model from scratch or if you have created one of the AMI model earlier, you can simply browse to that folder wherever you have saved your configuration. Again, this is a great advantage because not everything you need to do from scratch. All the work which you have put in, let's say in version 1 of the model can be leveraged to create version 2 of the model. So here, let me give you an example by creating a totally new AMI folder. And here I'm going to call it demo. PCIe 5. 
So once I do that, click on next, you can select what type of model you want, whether it's a receiver or a transmitter. Receiver is a little more involved, so let me show you how to model a receiver and how easy it is. And again, you can choose whether you want to work with Gen 5 or Gen 6 of the PCIe. So in my particular case, I'm going to select Gen 5. And now you can enable CTLE, you can type in your own poles and zeros, and you can add as many uh, poles and zeros you need or you can import impulse response data or a step response data and accordingly you will have your CTLE model. In case you are looking to use the standard uh, CTLE models as specified in the PCIe specs, you can of course go to view CTLE frequency response and here you can of course see the response. Not only that, if you click on edit, and from this window here, you can use the preset which are available. And in this preset, you can see you have various levels of PCIe, uh, CTLE, uh, you know, poles and zero in a pre-configured system. So very quickly, you can pick any of those um, pre-emphasis or uh, the, uh, the CTLE response as you want. You can see poles and zeros and all the specification will be, you know, selected, click apply click OK and now you have a standard compliant CTLE included in your AMI model as it is as easy as this. Now you can proceed to AGC, you can enable AGC, enable the compression as you need in terms of DFE, go ahead and enable DFE and if you are performing DFE related simulation using differential receiver, as you understand, you can save the optimized DFE tabs uh, from the regular channel simulation and those tabs coefficients can be used in this specification here or you can go ahead and specify your own as may be specified in the standard or given to you by your own vendor. You can also use either an idealistic CDR or you can define your own loop filter performance and look at the loop filter you know, frequency response and accordingly adjust it. In this particular case, I'm going to go ahead with auto and any of the reserve parameter you want to expose or define, you can do so here. Now, at this point, you can save this file and now all the configuration which you have done, as you can see, is saved in a configuration file, which I can reuse again in future if required. So once done, I will go ahead and build and now you can see very quickly the model creation is done. So I will go ahead and cancel this. Now here I can simply bring out an AMI and I can go ahead and bring out an RX AMI model. And now I will link it to the AMI model which we just generated. So here we can go and select an IBIS file and this will be available in demo underscore PCIe 5. Remember this is the folder. Here is the IBIS file which also gets generated uh, via AMI generation wizard. And here you can see you have all the AMI parameters which you defined just now. And by doing the simple operation here, now you have an AMI model. So let me go ahead and deactivate one. And now let's connect this AMI model, which we just created on the fly and compare the performance of this AMI uh, compared to what we had in a classical receiver. In the channel simulation, simply select the receiver, active receiver to be RX AMI one, and that's it. We go ahead and simulate. As you can see, this is how simple it is to come up with your own AMI model and simply use them in your design work. And here you can see indeed your AMI model is also working pretty nicely and pretty similarly to what you expected uh, from, the, from the differential receiver model which you had. So similarly, like I have shown you for PCIe, you can go ahead and invoke USB AMI modeler as you can see here. You can also invoke uh, Ethernet AMI model builder and again all these things are now available in your fingertips. Now in terms of licensing you can either add on a specific license for a specific AMI model builder or if you need all of them you can simply add one super bundle which will enable in the entire capability. The model which you have just now generated is fully shareable and can be used in any platform which supports IBIS AMI simulation. So it's not captive to ADS platform and it's equally shareable with your customers or colleagues so that they can go ahead and leverage your created models in their own design ecosystem. So that's all for this video. I hope you like this new cool capability offered by ADS for your service application. 
So stay tuned for more updates and thank you for watching this video till the end. Wish you all the best in your design work.